Hi, my name is Dan, and today I'm going to show you guys how to use your Fluke DSP 4000 cable tester. Um, first thing we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to set up a new job. So turn your dial over here to setup, and right here you can enter what kind of cable you're testing. Um, we're going to test Cat5, but you can put in whatever you want. Um, click on Cat5 and make sure all these settings are right. Um, press enter. And then you're going to go down to report identification. And this is where you're going to change um, your job. So your header um, and your operator, you can change those there. We're going to keep them the same. And go down here to site, press enter. And we're going to create a new one. These are all your other jobs you have on your tester. Um, we're going to create a new one. So click on new. And you can put it in right here. Um, I'm working on a cost plus world market, so I'll put in CPWM and we'll put whatever the store number is. For this, we'll just label it store 01. Press enter. And once you have that all in there right, press save. And that should automatically save. Uh, if you go to page down, there it is, CPWM01. Um, press enter on it, and you can see that now you're in that job. So once you're in that job, um, we're ready to do some testing. So turn your dial over here to auto test. Now once you're in auto test, you can just go ahead and press test. Once you have your remote all hooked up. Okay, the cable passed. So next thing you need to do is you need to save the result. So click on save right here. And that will allow you to put in um, whatever the cable number is. Right now we have our last job up there and we have a new one. So we need to delete that last job out of there. And we're on CPWM01. So um, you can just put slash enter and then you put in the cable number um, we'll call this one D1 press enter and then just go ahead and click save so that cable automatically saved in there and then once you're ready to test your next one you just press test again okay so your next cable pass so once again you're just gonna press save but if you see here it automatically um, it automatically goes to the next cable. So this one, it already labeled it D2. But if you did need to um, relabel that for a register or whatever you're doing, you can change that. But automatically, it'll go up to the next number. So just press save, and you're ready to test your next okay, one. Okay. So now that you have all your cables tested, uh, we're gonna go ahead and hook it up to our laptop and pull test results. So connect your serial cable into your tester. Connect the other side to your laptop and go over to your laptop and with the Fluke testers you have to have the Linkware software um, if you don't have the Linkware software uh, you'll have to go onto the internet and download it it's free I just did it for this video um, you just go to the Fluke website or you can google um, whatever kind of tester you have okay so once the software is open uh, we need to import those files off the tester onto our computer so this red arrow here is import. We'll click on that. And we'll go down to um, our testers of DSP 4000. So we'll click on that. Okay, so now that we have that open, you can see on our tester over here, um, it went into under PC control. So we have that open and we need to import um, our records. So we don't want to import all the records, we want to select the records we want to import. So go to select records and import. Okay, once you're in there, you need to find the job you're on. Um, we were on the cost plus zero one. So, just going to find it. Okay, here it is. We only tested two cables, but here's the two cables. So um, we want to import selected items. So click on your first one and then just press control on your keyboard 
and click on one more that'll that'll select two of them or however many you're doing um, click on those and then just down here clicked import selected items So now that you have your items imported, you can see right here on the left, um, there's your job. You can click on it and it will show your results right there. Once you have all your results in and everything is ready to go, um, you just have to go to file and then put save as and we will save it on our desktop and we'll call it CPWM01. Um, test results and just click save so now that should be on our desktop it's right here and that file is ready to attach to an email and send away so that's the end of the video I hope it was helpful go have fun with your testers